Um, so I'm Lauren Catris and I set up a business over a year and a half ago now um, designing and making luxury silk scarves and pocket squares. Um, so I went on a few courses with Business Wales and they helped me then um, construct my business plan and put all my thoughts onto paper really and just helped with the financial side of things and being aware of market research. But then when I applied for the Young Entrepreneur Bursary I think being awarded that was a massive help. I think without, without that funding I wouldn't be where I am now. I think it gave me that head start in getting my project out there and sort of refining my, my brand and my website as well. Um, yeah, I think it went a lot better than I thought it would. Of course, I was really nervous and I think being in front of the customer was a lot more difficult this time because obviously until then I had people I knew or family friends and you know that's how they kind of knew what I was doing and how they bought from me. So to be in front of the public who I've never met and for them to buy from me was really it was a really strange feeling, like I actually felt guilty taking money from them just because I found it strange that they wanted to, to buy from me and they actually liked what I was making. So yeah, I think that was really, was really rewarding. I did feel like after that situation I was really positive about everything and I think it sort of triggered a lot of other sort of positive things happening from there. So being on social media and um, sort of people recognising my, my brand and my logo more. I had um, a few magazines get in contact wanting to advertise with me, so that was Vogue, um, Elle magazine and Tatler. So I think that was a personal um, achievement just because obviously they're the sort of magazines I hope to be in a lot more in the future. So yeah, targeting that customer and them recognising what I was doing um, was sort of a massive compliment really. Um, I'd say the biggest challenge is sort of organising my time well and being patient with myself and how the business is going. I think. Um, sort of during the setup and the last sort of year, year and a half, I've been quite hard on myself and I think I've put the pressure on thinking right I need to succeed straight away and I need to be sort of at the end already. So I think I would try and enjoy it more. Um, um, I think there's been quite a few achievements that I've made in the past year and a half that I, I've made more than I thought I would. Um, so with the Young Entrepreneurship when I was awarded that, that was kind of like a sort of but it was a confidence boost. I think it was having someone else believe in what I had to offer, which I do doubt a lot of the time. I think being creative, thus you can be your own worst enemy and sort of criticise yourself too much. So that was really reassuring. Um, and I'd say to be on social media is obviously a massive, um, massive one. I think personally I'm on Instagram and um, Facebook, Twitter, um, and I think having to keep that up to date and allowing people to see and to be a part of your journey helps. So, I mean, I think, especially starting up as well, people like to see the progress and, you know, the little successes you have here and there. Um, so, yeah, I'd say um, keeping up to date with those um, social media platforms is a massive help. And comparing yourself to other designers and other creative people is, is well, quite a bad thing to do because I think you start thinking, should I be working like that? You know, obviously that's working for them. You know, maybe I should sort of take... Obviously it's good to be influenced and to have inspiration, but I think it's staying true to, to your aesthetic and how you work. It's hard to know, I think, to place it in the next year. I think ultimately, again, I, I would love for my brand to be recognised and for people to sort of see my logo and, and know who and what, what it is. But I think, yeah, I would love to sort of expand, so not just do accessories, I'd love to go into clothing and um, maybe even collaborate with sort of high-end designers. Um, I think first of all would be ambition and passion in your product and what you have to offer. Um, secondly, I think persistence, so I think even when you're doubting yourself or questioning where things are going, um, as long as you realise that you're doing what you're doing for a reason. Um, and I say lastly, having the belief in yourself and the confidence to, to keep going really.